shots fired, a fight taken to the streets, and this chaotic scene, the ending of a shooting that started in Beverly Grove. Sheriff's deputies pulling out a man who had been shot in an SUV. This man, a passenger in that car, frantic at the site. Friday, August 19th, 2022. Quando Rondo, a 23-year-old rapper from Savannah, Georgia, and member of the Rolling 60s Crips, was visiting the Los Angeles area. Around 5.25 in the evening, he and a 23-year-old associate of his named Lil Pab were pulling to the mobile gas station across from the Beverly Center. According to witness reports, one of the two men would pump the gas as a white four-door sedan pulled into the gas station, making its way to the alley on the gas station's left side. Three men appeared from the alley dressed in dark clothing and opened fire on the black Escalade. The driver's side of the Escalade would take the majority of the shots as the rear window was blown out and bullets pierced through the driver's door, the passenger door, the trunk window, and flattened the rear tire. The shooters would rush back into the white sedan before taking off down the alley as the Escalade would drive off making it less than three minutes away and within a half block of the LA County Sheriff's Office. Quando Rondo would flag down responding sheriff units as LA County fire and paramedics were called to the scene. Initial reports would state Quando Rondo was shot, but clearly on video, the only suffering he's going through is watching his dying friend be dragged from the back seat of the Escalade. It can be assumed his friend was seated on the driver's side when the gunfire erupted. With his body in the back seat, it's likely that Quando Rondo got into the driver's seat as he fled the gas station before panicking and flagging down officers, as this wasn't his city and he didn't know where the nearest hospital was located. Back at the gas station, white evidence markers by the alley would suggest over a dozen shots were fired at the Escalade and a single white evidence marker would be left where the Escalade was parked along with shattered glass. At one point, an LAPD detective spoke with the news, stating one man was in handcuffs and believed to be from the victim vehicle, which obviously means Quando Rondo had been detained. The only possible reason being he either fired back or something illegal was found inside of the Escalade. While this shooting would seemingly be an attempt on Quando Rondo's life, this is Quando's second friend to die in 48 hours. According to the Savannah, Georgia Police Department, on August 18th, shortly after midnight, officers would respond to a shooting locating 22-year-old Phoenix Odom, who was more commonly known as Fendi. Quando Rondo would take the Instagram, reposting one of Fendi's pictures, saying, damn, lil' bruh. With Fendi's murder most likely having ties to Savannah gang wars, this shooting in California has fans speculating someone slid for Vaughn. As everyone knows, Quando Rondo was present during the shooting death of Chicago rapper King Vaughn, and Quando's associate Lil Tim is responsible for Vaughn's death. It's understood there will forever be a target on Quando Rondo's back, and as the 23 year old watches violence consume those around him, one can only wonder the mental toll that death is taking on him. Now what I'm not gonna do is assume who did what. Everybody's saying that this came from Chicago, people are saying Dirk's name, and it just sounds fanned out. At this point, nobody knows anything. Everyone's just making assumptions, trying to point the finger, saying their favorite rapper did this, or their favorite rapper got revenge, or this, that, and the third, whatever, and it's all bullshit. At this point, no one knows. But what I can guarantee you is Quando Rondo had issues with gangs before the situation with King Vaughn. Can damn near guarantee you whatever happened to his homie in Savannah, Georgia, that was Savannah beef. That wasn't no outside shit. Now, this happening in the LA area, it's another twist to it, right? He has ties to an LA gang. He's rolling 60s. One of the first people to respond to the shooting saying he needed to tap in or he should have tapped in was a Hoover in LA. The Hoovers, the 60s, they beef. This isn't something that isn't known. But it just gives you another angle and another perspective to look at things. Yes, obviously, rappers from every single city go out to Los Angeles, enjoy California, whatever. So is there an angle that it could have came from Chicago? Sure, but like I said, we don't know. And there's no point in assuming things until the facts in the case actually come out. 
They're saying that the gas station at the time of the shooting, there was a ton of witnesses. I guarantee you they're going to have video surveillance footage. So just from that alone, that's going to explain more of what took place. And with that, an arrest might come. They're looking for that white four-door sedan. If that shit doesn't get blown up, buried, or fucking sunk in the ocean, they might find it. With that is going to come DNA and everything else. I'm interested in hearing if Quando was arrested, if he actually did fire back in the situation, but we're just going to have to wait and see. The only thing that I wonder is late at night when no one's around him, when he doesn't have to portray a certain image, how much does he regret what happened with King Vaughn? Because he didn't pop it off. Vaughn went off in his shit. We all seen the video. His homie technically did what he was supposed to do. Sees his homie getting attacked. Grabs his gun. Starts shooting, right? But that was enough for every Vaughn and Dirk fan to forever hate him. And everyone associated with Chicago with Dirk and Vaughn, you know, to look at him some type of way. He has to live with that. That's not going away. I just wonder how much of a toll on his mind is that taking, along with the fact that his friends are dying around him. The constant thought that no matter what happens, no matter how much time passes, there's always going to be somebody that wants to kill me. Because to be honest with you, and this is just from the outside looking in, and this isn't a diss towards Quando Rondo, he didn't come off as like that to me. As far as like one of these ruthless rappers that's just getting shit done, I didn't get that type of vibe from the way he carried himself. He might be Crip, cool, Snoop Dogg's a Crip, you know what I'm saying? Like Everybody isn't going to give the same type of vibe, everybody isn't going to be on the same level just because they're in a gang. But I just wonder to myself how much he regrets that entire situation happening. But hey, it's 1090 Jake. Drop y'all thoughts in the comment section. I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me. Till next time.